What is up everyone? So today I'm gonna to show you how to make two super simple yet clean looking hover animation effects for buttons only using HTML and CSS. So the first one, pretty standard, pretty basic, but basically you hover over it and it slides across like this. And then we have the second animation on the right and pretty much is like this where it fades out to the sides. So as you can see there, left one, right one, left one, right one. So without further ado, let me show you how I made this. All right, first things first, here I am on VS Code, and I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the files right here, create our index.html, and then I'm gonna create a style.css. All right, for index, I'm just gonna go ahead and press shift one, so exclamation mark, press tab, standard one you see here. Let's change this to hover buttons or button hub, whatever, it doesn't really matter for this part. And then simply go in the head tag, add a link tag, and then let's add our style.css in the href quotes. All right, and then let's go ahead and make sure that this is working, so h1 tab, Let's put yo, save it. And then I have live server installed. So if you don't have that, go to this little icon, search up live server, install that. But basically right click, open with live server, and then it pretty much will open up there. All right, perfect. So now we are set to go. All right, so the HTML is probably the easiest HTML you've ever seen in your entire life. But basically we're just gonna go erase this and put dot container Press tab, now we have a div with the class container. Press enter inside of this. And then I'm gonna create a button. I'm gonna say dot btn dash one. That's basically button one. And then inside, I'm gonna put hover me exclamation mark. You can name whatever you want to. And then a second button, we're gonna just change it to button two. And then let's just make sure, let's change this so you can see the difference. Awesome, right there. All right, now save that. Now we got two clean buttons, all right? So now we just gotta style it and then we're pretty much set to go. So for this example, I do have a Google font, but for just to save time's sake, it really doesn't matter if you use the font or not. But if you did wanna have it, it's basically, uh, it's Source Sans Pro. And actually, let me just show you how I installed this in case you're very new, you have no idea what happened. Essentially, I search Google Fonts and just type in Source Sans Pro. And then I pretty much went down and I installed the 600 sizing, semi bold, select this style here, go to the embed tab. And since this is a super, super tiny project, I'm just gonna import this. So I'm just gonna go like that, copy that link, which essentially is this link right here. And then we'll have to copy this and we'll get the font family just copy this for now and then we'll go ahead and enter that. So I'm just gonna target everything and just say, copy that right there. So now we have the Source Sans Pro fonts and then let's do letter, um, actually, yeah, let's, keep, let's do letter dash spacing. We should do four pixels and then let's do background color and let's just set that equal to hashtag 25252A. Save that there. And letter spacing, that's optional. You don't have to do that stuff, but now you can't really see anything going on, but let's go ahead and create the first button. So I'm gonna target the container first. And this is not mobile responsive because it's just a um, just buttons, but we're gonna target the container. Let's display flexes first. And then let's have a flex direction of row. So they're on the same row. Justify content, let's space it evenly. Align items, let's do center. And if I save that right now, it's like this. And then I just do text. You can do text align. Technically we don't need to, because it's already, well actually yeah, let's do text align. And let's make it centered. And then let's go and do min height. So we can have this in the middle of the screen. So min height and 100 VH. So now it's like this. And I'll just go ahead and target the first button. This one's pretty simple. And there's other ways to do this. I have another video where I did it in like a website, but this I found is the easiest, like this is legit the easiest way I've seen to do this effect. But basically let's create the button. So let's do it with 300 pixels. Let's make the height 100 pixels. 
I'm gonna put border it's gonna be none and then color of the text I just put it as white and then background dash color and I have RGB let's see RGB parentheses two five five comma zero comma sixty eight and then let's do border radius so I want that to have the rounded corners so that's four pixels so I say right now this is what it looks like right there and then here is the way this is one way to do it now there's like a million ways I'm sure you can do this but this way is the easiest it's like basically like one or two lines of code to have this effect so we can do the box shadow I want to say inset and then zero 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 and then hashtag f9 e 506 so you save that nothing's gonna happen because it's basically set to zero and then let's do a transition so that whenever we hover over it you'll see some cool like a delayed so let's see ease let's do ease out that's just 0 0.3 seconds and then font size just be two rem each rem by default is 16 pixels so basically it's two times 16 and then outline if i don't use outline i'm gonna say outline none before i save it though if i click on the thing you see that blue line kind of ugly looking save it and now the outline's gone when i click on it and now the magic effect the probably the most basic way to do this effect that i've found there's um, there's another way to do it with like before and after and you have to like position and everything but for this sake this part we're just gonna use it like this and then box shadow and then we can pretty much copy this entire line right here actually so let's just go ahead and copy this and all I need to do is change this first zero right here and just put the size of the width of our button so our button is 300 pixels wide so we have it here I'll save it and then basically you got it going right there now if you were to change this to like a hundred pixels you'll see it only goes a hundred pixels now with the other method, where it's like before and after, it's similar effect, but there's just so much more code and a lot more, uh, I would say, stuff that would be confusing. But pretty much, you can see here, we hover over it when I have it on desktop, and you can see it like that. So now I just want to add like the last part where we have cursor pointer so that the uh, hand shows, and then colors change it to black so you can see. So hashtag 000, save it. And then hover right here, boom, colors black. So that was probably the easiest way to do it. Feel free to comment down below alternative methods or ways that are, I guess, you can do other ways to where you can do much more stuff. But this way, for the, at least the side slide out effect, is pretty basic. But if you're trying to do like up, down, and other things like that, then you'd probably have to use the before, after. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comment. Let me just say second button, press enter. So now we're just gonna go just dot class btn 2. And with height, let's copy the first original part because this is pretty much the same for the first four. So with height, border, and then color, just copy that in there. So I save it. You can't really see the background yet, but that looks kind of weird, but cool at the same time. And let's set the border radius. Four pixels as well. And let's say transition. Let me see what is not. Actually, we technically could just copy. Let's see. We need outline, font size, transition. Yeah, that's pretty much all we need from this. So let's take border radius, transition, font size, and then right there. And then let's go ahead and do a border colon. And let's say three pixels solid and then hashtag F2FBF2. Now you can see it like this. And then let's do position. So we need to do position relative so that we can have a C index. If you don't put that, you're gonna go crazy and you're not gonna know why, what's going on. And basically just, just put position relative so that we can have the Z index. And then there we go is one. Cause the issue I was doing when I was making this is the, when I hovered the text disappeared, but I figured out with this. And then let's go and just do BTN. So dot btn2 colon hover color let's keep it white so hashtag fff and then uh just create your pointer save it there and then now you can see nothing happens 
but now let's go and here we're actually gonna utilize before now so before we didn't use before but now we're actually going to use it so btn dash two i'm gonna say colon before then curly braces i'm gonna say transition and put 0 0.5 s seconds all ease and then i'm gonna say position absolute and then we're going to set the top zero and this is the way the effect goes left and right so we're going to say left and we're just going to start at 50 percent right it's going to start at 50 percent bottom just going to be zero and then opacity spelled that wrong opacity and then put that zero and then for the content we're going to make this blank so just put quotes so there's nothing in it and then the background color is going to match the uh, the border, which was hashtag 42FBF2. And let's go under this. And we are almost complete. So right now, if I save this, nothing happens. So this last part where they hover is the magic effect right here. So .btn-2 colon hover colon B4 quotes and let's do transition so transition 0 0.5 s all ease and then let's do a left so i want to go to the left at zero and then i want it to be right zero and then opacity let's make it to one so now you can see this and this is the most important is z index negative one save that and now we have that effect here so now if we bring this over first effect second effect super simple super easy so if you enjoyed this video go down below and give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel comment down below any other cool tips and tricks out there and aside from that i will see you in the next video peace